The future of international big game conservation could be found in the heart of Africa. Under Zambia's forward-thinking national wildlife policy, local communities are responsible for the game management areas. And the same communities benefit financially from the hunting dollars that these areas generate. Sound policy forged with spectacular wildlife making Zambia perhaps the greatest safari destination on the planet. You know, Zambia has become one of my favorite countries. I have so many great memories here from hunting in the Luangwa Valley, for buffalo, for crocodile, all manner of plains game. And then up here in the, in the north, the northwest corner, Fisher's Corner, as it were. So to come back, come back and hunt buffalo and do it with my old buddy, Gerald McCraney, that was a trip for the ages right there. Just left and low of the bull itself. Yeah. I think that's fine, isn't it? That morning, we sensed the familiar change in tone inside of our camp as the team prepared to stalk Cape Buffalo. You know, Pete had said he's got two different basic concessions here, and they're both gigantic. I think they're about 40,000 acres in total. But he had one buffalo that was just this rogue beast, old, probably 10 years old, he said. He said, look, it's just gnarly. It's, it's chewed up from all the fights it's been. And it's killed four other bulls out of this herd that it's in. And we just can't go on because, uh, you know, the, the revenue from buffalo hunting is a very core part of what the whole program is. And he just keeps each subsequent season. It's one, two, and, you know, there's the tally he's done is four. Well, you wow. take that. But also the fact that he, he's becoming a dangerous animal, so. Well, yeah, I've got a 416. Good medicine for a guy like this. But it's yeah. amazing to me, this guy especially, that's a serious buffalo right there that he took him out. I mean, that's, that's, a, yeah, that's, that's a, a nasty buff. buffalo yeah. that would do something like that. And he just gets underneath with that horn and just opens them up. You'll and see that type of horn he has, it's a very tight curl. But it, because they're so tight, the, the tips aren't worn down, so yeah. they're like razor sharp. And he just gets under their belly and goes, <laughs> hooks them like that. And it just literally like a scalpel. And all their guts come up. Wow. So you find the poor buffalo still alive trying to drag his entrails along. Horrible. That's, that's a bad, I've never heard of a buffalo doing that. Yeah, he's not helping us at all. No. Yeah. So, um, Damn. What we plan to do is, yeah. Fix the problem. Fix the problem. We're just here to do our civic duty. There you go. In Zambia, death lies in wait around every corner. While in search of a particular Cape Buffalo that killed four other bulls in its herd, we cross paths with a different threat, invisible to the untrained eye. You atrophy your leg, not a muscle left. The Gaboon Viper injects more venom into its prey than any other poisonous animal on Earth. One bite from this guy and you have about 15 minutes to find any venom or a coffin. Come on, get you going that way. Yeah, that's it, go that way, come on. Come on, buddy. Yeah, now you to get him moving. Come on. That's a cool that's Good man. That's just another day in Zambia. After removing one deadly animal from the road, we return to the task at hand, remove another deadly animal from its herd. The beast of Ninchilla had killed four bulls and each death signified a loss of revenue for the local community. So it's one of those things where he said, look, we got to get this guy out of the herd. Trouble is, he's crafty. He knows exactly the game. He knows the difference between a tractor going to work out in the fields and somebody who's, who's got malice in his heart and has a rifle in a case. You know, it's just one of those deals where he's eyeing you up. As soon as you come around the bend, you can just classic buffalo look down his nose. And he's going to make a decision quickly if he's going to go or if he's going to stay. And uh, it's going to be dependent upon whether or not you look like you're innocent or not. We tried getting up on him one time and the entire herd just bolted out of there. We were a long way off and it, you could just see he had no patience. Said, look, I don't like that vehicle. I know what's coming in that vehicle. I've been around the game for a long time and Pete wanted him out. This buffalo are gonna head straight back through there, go over that hill. We'll see him on the other, right side. On the other side. So it was one of those deals that we finally kind of came around to bend, surprised them. They were on the edge of a kind of a little woodland there and him in the middle there? Yeah. The big, big one right in the middle. Yeah. Even as we got up on him, he didn't sit around. Okay, they're moving. They're moving. 
I mean, he started moving away right away. Okay, okay, he's, he's standing, he's standing. Quick. That's, that's your chance there, right there, right there. Good one, good one, good one. And had to make a quick shot, hit him on the point of the shoulder, runs to the edge of the forest. The rest of the herd is just hanging there. Cool. Okay, that's fine. The death bellow right there, huh? That's a classic death bellow. As soon as you hear that, you know he's kaput. The beast of Ninchilla is no more. That was, uh, just look at that guy. He's an old gnarly son of a gun, isn't he? God, look at the size of that beast. What a beast. Just look at that. That thing has been in some tussles. Look at you that. You can tell he's a warrior, can't you? Yes, indeed. That. Just gouged out of there. I've never seen a buffalo with gouges like that out of it. No, I haven't either. Holy criminy. He must have just been scrapping all the time. Fight to the death, this guy, huh? Just amazing. Once again, buddy. Congratulations. Congratulations. Ah. That's what made it extra special is having you here.